Hey everybody, Adam here. I hope that uh, you guys have a good weekend. It is the end of a long week. It is Friday. Some things that are on my mind. Uh, man, the tragedy that's going on, the utter invasion that's going on at the southern United States border between Mexico and uh, the United States. You've got not only Mexicans now, but people from Venezuela and Pakistan and China flooding through the border. It is crazy town. That's been on my mind today. Another thing that's been on my mind, I guess it ties into that, is the um, the massive new awareness about the uh, child predators and child trafficking. Like, I sent out a tweet earlier today, or typed it out and press send, <laughs> and I meant it, that, uh, you know... Objectively speaking, the U.S. government and the Border Patrol Agency and the National Guard under the direction and just following orders of the current administration of the American government is conducting human trafficking. That is a, an observable fact. They're conducting human trafficking. But human trafficking is illegal. But the government's doing it. What's happening to these kids, you know? There's stories that are just crazy. And that's just what, what's happening in the border. But uh, I was watching some uh, interviews that I was just uh, I was just linking to uh, on my Twitter account. I'll get you the exact name of the guy. Huge interviews where <clears throat> I'm talking explosive bombshell interviews with guys who are catching child uh, predators. Uh, and the uh, I'll get the, the name of the guy for you. Yeah, Ryan Montgomery interviewed uh, the number world's number one ethical hacker, but that, I mean he's got a name. They have a YouTube channel that I link to. Ryan Montgomery, yeah. And it was on the Sean Ryan show. And so there's people doing this where they'll <laughs> they'll pretend to be like 13. So let's back way up. I've never been into uh, like chat rooms, like back when MSN Spaces was a thing and, and um, you know, the MSN chat was a thing. I would I would chat with people, but like I would never chat, chatted to random strangers. So I would never really been into... Uh, chat rooms so this is a thing that i've been aware of on my periphery but not something that um like i personally have been into but you know, there's chat rooms out there for sure and lots of different types of chat rooms you can just type in uh, freechatnow.com and you can pull up a chat room instantly but there's chat rooms and uh he showcases just how bad it is these days that you can pretend to be a decoy or pretend to be a decoy and uh pretend to be an underage girl, 13, 12 years old, as a screen name, and in under a minute, you'll have 40, 50 messages from, you know, fully grown men who want to meet you for sex things, and, uh, you know, different parts of the world are trying to normalize this uh, pedophilia as uh, minor attracted persons, and uh, so this stuff has been on my mind, I mean, for years, but, like, I don't know... I'm glad that other people are I'm glad that other people are getting involved and I'm glad that there's YouTube channels dedicated now to actually using real time internet connections for good and like confronting these these predators. You know, the fact that you and I can't fathom the fact that you and I can't fathom getting in a an Uber or getting in a car and traveling an hour and a half to go meet uh, a thirteen year old girl or two with some drugs um, and hopefully get laid by some 11-year-old girls. Like, the fact that we can't fathom doing that and going to those lengths doesn't mean that other people aren't doing it right now. This is the blind spot of good people. Is like, as a Scorpio, I have tried sometimes in my life to get my head to... I've tried to understand why people do crazy things. Like, I've tried to understand... Um, the guys who wear uh, adult diapers and pretend to be babies. I've tried to understand people who are into BDSM or, or uh, 
fetishes like abuse me daddy like I, I can't imagine choking a woman during sex stuff like that and i get that there's people on both sides into it it's not just, not just a male thing there's women who want to be choked you know as an example like i've tried to understand guys who have sex with animals or women who have sex with animals and like what are they thinking in their head but there's just a certain point where people who are not of that nature will never understand them so instead of endlessly trying to understand them especially with uh, child predators i mean the prison system has a way of taking care of these people but we need to get them into the prison system first right um it's bad out there fam and what's going on uh on the southern United States border is just a snippet into that world. So educate yourselves, protect your kids. I mean, my kids are 12 and 12 and just turned 10 and they don't have cell phones. I don't plan. There's nothing on my horizon of getting them cell phones or iPads or whatever. You know, when I met Desiree, the kids had an iPad and the kids broke it. And then uh, I just said, you know, we're not, we're not replacing that. So, you know, the fact that, I mean, the, these child predators are coming in game chat rooms like Xbox, Roblox, Minecraft, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. They're everywhere. So if you think that your kids are not vulnerable, you are sadly mistaken. What's worse these days is that the kids uh, with the cell phones and, and iPads and whatnot that the kids have, that the parents have given them, uh, they're filming themselves do all different types of crazy things. And I'm not sure like if these kids are even aware. So this is something as a parent that you have to get involved in and uh, educate your kids. And if you're an older kid, educate the younger kids that like this, this is all illegal, immoral <laughs> and uh, prosecutable. You might be facing prison time. Um, if you get caught and there's, um, people out there that are trying right now to catch predators. So, uh, you're not safe and you should know that this is a behavior that needs to stop. If you're one of these predators, uh, you need to stop this behavior, <laughs> you know, and if you can't stop this behavior, you need to seek help or, you know, what do they call that? <laughs> there's a... Uh... Those magic bullets that come in brass form, they're pedo you know, take some of those, jump off a bridge. I'm not saying jump off a bridge. <laughs> I said it, but I don't mean it. I mean, seek help before you off yourself. Don't kill yourself, even if you're a child predator. Seek help first, just stop being a child predator, jeez. But if you've committed crimes like that, you should turn yourself in. What a crazy world we live in, fam, that I even have to have this conversation with my YouTube uh, people. But this is the real world, and, um, you know, the elites of the world, the royal families of the world. Uh, what was the guy's name? Jerry Saville? Saville? Friend of the royal family, procurer of fine young underage girls everywhere. And then there was um, Bourdain and... Uh, Recently, Epstein, you got uh, Weinstein, all the Steens, basically all the Steens. If your last name is Steen, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, so it's an uncomfortable thing to talk about with your kids. It's an uncomfortable thing to have to talk about in general. But there are child predators out there and um, we need to be aware and uh, vigilant. And um, there are people that consider themselves vigilantes that are um, hunting these people now. So uh, be warned, you know. In my own life, I've had a couple run-ins uh, with people who have decided to be child predators. And um, I don't really want to talk about it more than I have to. But I have appeared in court to testify against one and in particular and these people and I'm not going to name names are in jail right now so I don't feel like I need to discuss that any further and read in between the lines if you can but uh you know nobody's getting away with anything not around me at least and nobody's getting away with anything these days so um you're gonna get caught and uh 
Like I said, prison has a way of uh, dealing with people who are called chomos. They, call, they even have a nickname for you, chomo. You can uh, look up the abbreviation. Anyway, fam, I'm sorry to get so dark and weird on you uh, on, on a Friday, but it's just, it is what it is. The vibes are all best up today. Uh, I've been at work. I did, like, concrete repair. I did, uh, you know, I did some hose repair. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I'm just about to head home, but I wanted to give you guys that little update that uh, it is what it is. And um, the internet is a crazy place. And if you stare in the abyss, uh, it might stare back. Keep your kids away from the abyss because uh, it's all there, man. You think of the worst thing that you could possibly think of and type it into the internet if you want to. It's all it's all on there at your kid's fingertips. So you have to be aware of that. The answer isn't to desensitize them at a young age. The answer is to keep them pure as long as you can physically keep them pure. Keep them pure. Because when they're on the other side of childhood into adulthood, they can look up all these things with their own adult eyes that where you're not a, you're not responsible for them. Like I'm no fap. I don't want to watch porn. I hope that, that that my kids never watch porn. But when they're adults, they can make their own educated decisions just on the topic of porn and be like, today I'm going to type in what is porn. You know, I'm going to look at porn. I hope that they never do. I'm not giving them that example, and I'm educating them about stuff like this if I have to. Like one is twelve and one is ten. I don't have to get too graphic at this point, but I. You know, we have these conversations as they get older about what's out there and why we're doing what we're doing. Like, Mom, why can't I have an iPad? Dad, why can't you get me a cell phone? There's reasons, kiddo. Follow me on Twitter at AdamJosh.com. Like and subscribe. Take care, everybody.